Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to another great ASA Pub News Television program. You know what? Before we get started, because we have a return author, and our return author is uh, Tetiana Conrad. Yes, <laughs> Tetiana Conrad, which we will be talking about her with a book event. But before we continue with this, actually, I want to share something with you. I am not only if I'm the uh, host of the program, but if anybody noticed, we do have what? A co-host. Our co-host is William Townsend. Yes, William Townsend. Okay? And a lot of people didn't know about it. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely a pleasure. Yes, yes. Okay, now, I am also the producer, so what I want to do is to give him this opportunity because actually a lot of you haven't seen him on, on the set, but he's always been here. He's been working in the backgrounds, helping out with the cameras and everything else. But this is William Townsend, and he is our co-host. Now, I'm going to let you know also that we have a, a dynamic TV director. Her name is Jen. Yes, Jennifer Townsend. Yes, yes, yes. She does the control room and everything, so I want you all to see who's behind the scenes here. And, and uh, uh, Jen does it all. Does it all. I mean, my goodness. I mean, she's, she's holding the mantle, you know, and I've, I've kind of like myself have to even step out, out the plate when she yells at me, especially with the co-host too. <laughs> but they're dynamic, and I love them both. And I have another person that I got to give credit to. He's our cameraman, Micah. Micah, come on up here. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. We've got a great team. Uh, uh, we got Hannah. She's in, in, in the control room right now. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we're going to get this party started. How about that? So I'll tell you what, we'll be right back after this. Everybody got an alter ego. I wish I actually did have them Gucci shoes inside that Gucci bag. Yeah, I'm a soul dude, but I can want it, right? Truthfully. I can rock diamonds if I want to. You can get naked if you want to. Because it's what I want. The first W is what I want to do. I want you to be horny, baby. I want you to be on me, baby. I want you to want me, baby. I want us to have them flashing things. See, you can get naked if you want to. I want you to be corny, baby. I want you to be on me, baby. I wanna have some flashy things. It's alright. Once it's my alter ego. Even the most chillers. Got one of them. Welcome back to OSA Pub News. For a second time, we have Tantiana here tonight, and uh, we're going to be really getting into the book and uh, all the details of it. But before going further, I'd like you to tell me just a little bit more about your book. Me personally, I'd like to know what was the vision and the passion you had behind it, and what would you like your readers to take away from it when they picked up your book and finished it? Just some of your thoughts on that. The idea is unique. Love throughout. My book, Love and Mystery, is a romance novel with the elements of fantasy and mystery. It captures one's interest throughout the book. It's somewhat extraordinary and fantastic. It's an unusual love story between two artists, Nicole and Mike. Nicole is an abstractionist artist and Mike is a singer-songwriter. They have visions of each other. 
Nicole saw Mike and heard beautiful music. And Mike saw Nicole and wonderful painting. Mm. Their love begins from these visions. Their creative energy depends on these visions. Nicole happened to see Mike at a music festival. And Mike saw Nicole on television news. They could not meet for a long time. Finally, Mike's friend, a journalist, introduced him to Nicole. And when their eyes met, they fell in love with each other from first sight. After this, they shared one studio, and Mike could not compose unless he watched Nicole paint. And Nicole could not paint un unless she watched him compose and sing. It was true and mysterious love. They were in harmony and balance with themselves, their creativity and with the world. Well, um, <clears throat> I see that you had a book signing, not the book book here at uh, June 11th, I believe. Uh, no mission. What was that like? First time author getting there, and what was, what was the details of all that? What was that like? In June 11, 2011, was my first book signing, book event. It was in Monroe, Michigan, and Book Nook Story. When I arrived in Monroe City, I really like this city. It's historical center, a lot of very old buildings, churches, statues. And I noticed it is a beautiful river ran through center city. When I came more close to Book Nook Story, I was so happy and excited to see a sign on the window, meet Tatiana Kandren, the author of Love and Mystery. When I came inside the story, it was very comfortable, and the book story was a traditional a classic style. And this reminded me when I was growing up, I always liked to go to this kind of story and enjoy the books. And uh, it was a well-organized place for signing, and I displayed my books and wait for customers. Mm. And when customers began coming, they had interest to my books and to me. Some asked questions, some just looking on books. And one lady named Melissa asked me, what inspired you to write your book? It was book about. I we had small conversation. She really liked my answers. She bought my book and I signed it. And I was very impressed when I saw on the shelf by registry my book, my first book, Love and Mystery. And I would like to say thank you very much, ASA Publishing, and Book Nook Story for this opportunity for me. Wow. Can you also tell us about your publishing experience and the, uh, how long you've been in the industry and now as a televised author, what is that, what's that experience been like? Has that changed it much for you? I mean, what has that been like for you? I never thought that I could be an author before what happened to me in July 2010. July 17th, 2010 was a special day in my life. I became a writer. It reminds me by of the Don Juan by, series by Carlos Castaneda in which he altered his view of the world and his way of thinking by using certain drugs. And something similar happened to me. My daydream changed my life. It turned me into another. Hmm. I found ASA publishing company through my friend who previously published books through them. And I'm happy with ASA's publishing company because I was a known author and now I know more and more of it every day. And uh, now I belong to the world of the authors and I feel that I accomplished, I have accomplished something very important in my life. It happened so fast. I just began writing my book in uh, July 2010 and in beginning of February 2011, I published on Amazon.com for Kindle. And on the end of February 2011, I signed a contract with ASA Publishing Company for paperback edition. 
And uh, in April, it was uh, published on Amazon.com for bookstore. And same month, April 21st, 2011, I had my first TV, TV interview. And I had book event in June 11, 2011. So it was like snowball effect. And after I published my first book, Love and Mystery, I began writing my second book, sequel, and uh, where the characters and their relationships more involved and complex. And uh, you can say, I'm in publishing industry 11 months now. And they would like to say, thank you very much, ASA Publishing Company, for everything what they do for me. Is there anything you could, uh, that you could maybe offer to new uh, authors that maybe haven't got it there, just first timers, people that maybe have, like you had, you had a dream, and it just, like you said, so fast, snowballed like that. Is there anything you could maybe give, any information, any, just any help in any way that you can think of that way? I'm very happy with ASA Publishing Company. And um, because I was a known author, now I know and know more and more with every day. And uh, ASA Publishing Company work very hard, fast, and uh, help promote the book. You can trust ASA Publishing mm. Company because they're honest and uh, always try to help new authors to be more known, famous, successful and make their dreams come true. And uh, I would highly recommend publish with ASA Publishing Company. And uh, if a new authors will publish their first book with ASA Publishing Company, they will have a TV interview and book events, and uh, they could to be successful and famous. And uh, if uh, they will have questions, I recommend answer honestly and to be natural. And uh, don't afraid share your knowledge, experience, your thoughts, ideas, feelings, emotions to the public. Because if readers will believe you, they will want to mm. read your book, they will buy your book. And also, I recommend it more advertise your book. On, you can advertise online or you can advertise in a way what possible. It, could, it will be promote your book and good sale. And it will be like your message to the world. You will achieve your goal and your dream will come true. <laughs> I may say so. I believe it's a privilege for uh, ASA companies to just work alongside with you and work on everything that's been going on. But, uh, once again, it's glad to have you back. Um, we actually, when we return, we're going to have a premiere viewing of Tantiana's uh, book event in downtown historic Monroe, Michigan. So we'll be right back after this PSA.